Hello everyone, Exodus here, welcoming you back once again to the Crooked Man. I don't really remember where I left off, other than I think we got that little bit of a flashback from that one guy. What was his name? D. I think it was D. The letter D. 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 You can't see it. Anyway. Done making the letter D with my hands. So we're going to go ahead and continue on. Let's take a quick inventory. Notebook scrap, a hammer, a crowbar. Still got our lighter. Okay, so I think what happened is we got down into this other part of the law school. The school newspaper is posted up. Okay, okay, it's coming back to me. 619 is Michael Statham's birthday. His teacher mentioned in a note that her she shared a birthday with this student. So 619 is the code to that teacher's box. So that was the mystery. I don't know if there's anything else down here. We're going to look. Found a notebook scrap. The rule matches these other pages, so he was here. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed. But I didn't receive that blessing. What's the problem with me? Who refused to pick me and left me in the dust? I loathe those meaningless days. Huh. He had a leaflet for this school. It was in the desk. Felt like it was important. Was he trying to be a lawyer like Dee was? I guess this would imply he didn't become one. Interesting. Perfect classroom, nothing in it. Okay. I don't see nothing more. I'm very nervous about that one dude that we locked away. So, where was her classroom? 619. I don't remember exactly where her room was. So give me a moment while I try to find it, and as soon as I find it, I'll bring you all right back to me. I almost think that this is it. It is. Six nineteen. There's a key to the lecture rooms inside. Remember what this is. Oh yeah, this is where she's at. Okay. <sighs> Lecture rooms. I don't remember where that is, but because of how chicken and scared I am, I, I'm done messing around. Lecture. Lecture rooms. Is that down here? <sighs> Reference, not lecture. Again. No point in beating you guys up too with this, so I'll bring you back as soon as I find something. Okay, these are the lecture rooms. <sighs> Down in the room, okay, where I would, okay. So is it like this? There's a piece of paper. Found a notebook scrap. I knew there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say, say it. I wanted to be woken up, to be told I'm a have not. Something you lacked, a have not. It's true, there are haves and have nots. People whose dreams can come true. And, oog. What are we ooging? Uh, again, sometimes my head just starts hurting bad. Uh-oh. Are you okay, buddy friend? Oh, hell. Finally, it... Ah! It's choking me. Don't choke me. Damn, monster. Why are you chasing me? Gah? Um, 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 ugh.
I'm I'm alive. The monster's gone. I thought it would kill me, but it left. Damn it. My neck hurts and I feel so sluggish. I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. There's a notice about a seminar. 921 in the auditorium. Crime among the improv impoverished and its prevention. Ivan Abolistiv's criminal behavior. Psychological approach. Hope that doesn't pop up. It shouldn't. I had a notification. Stupid Windows 10. A psychological approach will be referenced, so be sure to read it before coming. This is on game capture, not display capture. So we should be okay. So I need to just focus. My friend's more professor of criminology. I'm going to focus one more time. 921. Franz Moore. That sounds relevant. Where do we sleep? I'm walking slow. Or do we just go to Franz Moore's room? I don't remember where Franz... This is the faculty. I think Franz is upstairs somewhere. So let's go ahead and head on up. We'll see if we can find Franz. I'm walking slow. That's annoying. And then... Continue on. So, 921. Oh, but it won't let me. Huh. Maybe I left it in a book somehow? Okay, so maybe I gotta check a book in the reference room because it wouldn't let me put the 921 in there. I guess we'll go check the reference room. And, I mean, my dude needs to sleep, he said, but... I think this is the reference room, so I'm not gonna cut. I shouldn't have to. So, let's poke around here. He wants to sleep. Can you sleep here in a chair? No. What's this? I'm just looking for a scrap. I don't really care what they say. So, let's just skip through this. I'm going to check all these. If I find something, I find something. If I don't, I don't. I'll cut it out. If I do, we'll do something else. I don't know. The creepy sound effects are bothering me. So, nothing in all those books down there. I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing in any of these books in the reference room. I'm at a loss right now. I am at a loss. I'm at a loss and I'm lost. I'm at a loss while being lost. I know a number, 921. I don't want to forget it. I have no idea where I could take this dude to help me get sped up a little bit. He's tired. He wants to lay down. Lay on the cardboard box. Lay on the cardboard box. I don't want to lay on the cardboard box. It's locked. Y'all leaving me hanging here. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I'll walk around just a little bit more, okay? And if I don't find anything, we'll just call this a short one. Maybe I can get a second recording up for today. Maybe I can get some help on this one or do some research. I don't like doing research. I like figuring things out for myself. Or getting help from people who are watching. So, let me walk around for a little while longer. Check a couple rooms over. If I don't find anything, call it quits. So we'll see you all either at the end or when we find something. Where's that one room at? I think I just found something. I'm complaining and then I walk into the infirmary and I'm like, huh, there's beds here. What can happen if I walk into it? Um, is this good or bad? Are you crying?
crying again? Why is Mama crying? Sorry, I can't do a thing. I can't even console you. What? What? A dream? Yeah, Mom always cried in the living room after I'd gone to bed at night. That was when I was a kid, though. Huh? Well, I'm feeling better now. All right, let's go. My health's at 50. Huh. I'm walking at normal speed, but did that change anything? Maybe I'm even walking a little bit faster. So do I go to the reference room now? What do I do now? I rested. Anything shining in here? Anything open? Moved? Maybe now I gotta check that paper in the room where dude touched me. In my naughty place. Wait, what? Is this where he touched me? Auditorium. 921, criminal behavior. So we got three hits. This is the auditorium up here. Nothing's different. Nothing's different. Okay, auditorium, out. 921, let's see if that works. If that don't work, then we gotta find a book. And I still don't know where the book is. So, Fran Moore, where's your room? I think you're on the top floor. You over here, Fran? I think Fran's right here. Yes. So, no, we gotta find the code in a book. And where's the book? Bookie, 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 bookie. Okay, well, I'll poke a little bit longer again because I am refreshed, walking fast, so maybe something changed. Maybe the room that we trapped Dingleberry in. Nope. So, I'll poke around a little bit more if I find anything. We'll jump right back into it. That. Hey! That didn't pop up before. I was going to check all the books again. I didn't have to go very far. I don't understand. Hmm, there's a slip of paper in here. 9981. We're making progress now. As long as... Hmm, you know what? That took me a long time. Computer room. Okay. I'm scared. Something's gonna happen. The computer room's right down here. No, computer room was next to butthole lips. Wasn't it? Well, butthole lips isn't in there, but I think this is Andrew Robinson. Oh. Okay, well then maybe the computer room was down. Whoops. Reference and then it was you. Laptop computer, there's no power. The trash can is overflowing. Lots of complicated papers. I don't understand any of them. Printed by Andrew Robinson, ID 144. Because that one dude said I could use my ID like the one dude, but so 144246. 144246. One four four. <laughs> Mechanical pencils. One four four two four six. 
I don't know what's going to happen. I'm scared. Ahem. Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain of some, for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us resolute. A round of applause for my fellow graduates. What? what? The laptop? But it wasn't on. However, as valedictorian, there's something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. Talk about me. What? He was highly skilled, kind to us all, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed by none other than the man himself, hiding behind an innocent face he's been fooling at all his pupils and professors. Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? I didn't think so. He should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. What? Stop it. Stop! Huh? You're the lowest of low. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward. Yeah, stop! I'm not a coward! I, I just... Huh? I heard a scream. That was you? Jeez, you made me freak. Oh god, it's D. What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? Forget about it. Sorry to startle you. It's nothing. Yeah, it gets snarky. Hey, dude, you okay? You're super pale. I'm just kind of tired. I came a long way and I haven't slept. Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. Have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. What? Seriously? I don't need this. I told you. Leave me be. Drink it. Jeez. You really look like you need food and drink. And I'm being nice, so at least accept it, will ya? Alright, thanks. But what's all this from the guy who was calling me a shady punk? Mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on. It's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. Besides, maybe it's fate. Tell you what. I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. Ha! That's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around? Particularly a man about my age? Hmm, nope, nobody. He's who you're looking for? Yeah, though I don't really know who, how he looks. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Doubt anybody be around here, though. Oh, but can I ask something to you? Professor Andrew, he always helped me out. His room's on the third floor, but it's got a number lock, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might still have some lecture notes for me around or something. But yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? That's where I'm going next. I'll wander around some more then. You look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well, you be careful too. If you see any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself anyhow. Smell ya. Oh, the old smell ya. Hm. Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. Got an energy drink. Can I use it? That gave me full health. I think I screwed up. We're gonna just double check. One, four, four, two. Okay, let's go ahead and. I don't wanna save. Because I think I screwed up. Extinguisher in here. It looks like some sort of diary. Finally done with the finals. I'm glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course, there's that lone D. 
I teach him so much, but he doesn't even get the basics. He's lagging behind everyone else, and yet he's so intent on being a lawyer. That nickname D stands for Dreamer. Apparently, it was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grade he'll always get. I hate how he fawns over me, too. I practically have to act nice to him, and he always comes for lessons after school. I wish I'd never let him in my class. I just hope he gives up on his dream soon and finds another path. Burn? It's awful that he'd say this about a student, though maybe D really is that bad. If D saw this, it'd be a big shock for him. He said he respected his professor and always tried so hard. There, I tore the page out. Wouldn't want D coming in and finding this. Uh oh. So, sorry about clearing my throat. <clears throat> really dry. Really dry. Anything else? Nothing. So we got the page out of that. Is that it? Does it let you reread it? Yeah. Uh oh. There's still a couple rooms to look in, isn't there? I'm so nervous. The door is unlocked. I have a really bad feeling the air feels kind of heavy. What even is this? Let's find out. I didn't know to come here, I was just kind of thinking, you know, let's start from the bottom, work our way up. So I'd be, I, uh, I don't know. D? Hey D, what's wrong? Get up. My head, I feel like crap. Now that you mention it, it's a little hard to breathe. What's going on here? It's gas. Huh? The floor's leaking gas, you gotta get out. Got it. Got it. D, get up and lean on my shoulder. Oh no. It's here. You're not going to let us go? Crap. This gas is pouring in. I'll be poisoned if I'm not quick. We got an event. Is this where I regret accidentally using the energy drink? Let's go. Got an iron pipe. Um... I got a pipe! <laughs> pipe didn't save me. Achievement unlocked. Come to me. Uh, I'm gonna consider that an ending. Let's go back, let's look around again and see what we get.
never mind, we're going. Crowbar. We're going. Fifty. Forty-nine. Flop. Hey, D, are you okay? I'll get you the infirmary. Hang in there. Wow. What if you got... Po yeah. Head hurts like hell and I feel gross, but I'll get better. Thanks, man. I'd be screwed without you around. I owe you my life. There's a water storage in the basement. And once I heard about it leaking gas, only just remembered that now. It was after I graduated, so I don't know for sure, but I think there was a dispute over the property. So school moved and this got abandoned. I see, but you really shouldn't have come if you knew it was dangerous. Sh shut up, I just sort of forgot, okay? Eh. To think, all this this happened when I should, when I just came here to relax. Should have just stayed at home studying. It's good to get a breather, sure. Just not in abandoned ruins, okay? That's really something, though. You're still studying three whole years after you graduated? Well, I always wanted to be a lawyer ever since I was a kid. No matter what, I will be a lawyer. So I kept studying, and I still do. And there's no changing my mind. I see. But you're awesome yourself, climbing the elevator while carrying me. You're buffer than you look. Oh well, I did go to flight school. Serious? That's awesome. Really can't judge a book by its cover, eh? But anyway, won't you get out of here already? It's all kinds of dangers here, and I'm not looking after you anymore. I know, I know. Well, it was nostalgic and refreshing while it lasted. I'll just rest here a little and go. You do that. I'll be going. Now kiss. Hey, get out. Gross, man. And it gave me an achievement called BL. Butt love? Wait, what? Okay. So am I... Oh, hey, hold on a sec. You dropped something here, you. Wait, huh? This looks like Professor Andrews' writing. Why do you have this? Hey, wait, don't read that. Huh? Dreamer, the grade he always gets? Hey, what's this about? How did, Why did the professor... This is how he really felt? Aw, oh, he found the paper. But you supported me. You said I'd be a lawyer someday. That's what you told me. Hey, D, calm down. Uh-oh. That guy, he's in no condition. That monster's bound to find him. Oh, now what? No! If I had to make a guess, I would guess he went to the professor's room wrong. Okay, the sound stopped. Maybe I rushed on ahead. I shouldn't have gone up here. Did you run outside? It won't even give me an option. I don't want to go in the basement. It's not hiding in here. Where'd you run to, buddy? That's the wrong one. Let's try this one. Maybe it was the big empty one. The auditorium. Oh, maybe. No, that was Franz. Well, we'll check the auditorium because we found nothing here. Thank goodness. Thank goodness we found you, buddy. I always knew, at least that I wasn't a genius or anything. But why didn't they just say it? I respected Professor Andrew because he always supported me. Sure, I'm kind of dumb. I've been teased constantly for it. I failed the damn test five times. I'm a failure. But aren't I free to dream? I've always dreamt of being a lawyer. That's why I still study so hard. Why well, did it have to be like this? Was everything I did for nothing? I don't know what to do anymore. D. D. 
D, are you going to give up on your dreams just because others make fun of them? You can't give up. You want to be a lawyer? Then don't give up over some teasing. You're still young and full of life. Me? I know I chased my dreams recklessly when I was a student. I'll support you toward your dreams, so good luck and don't give up. Good luck? You're wishing me good luck? What the hell do you know? We just met. I keep trying whatever the hell you say. But what's it done for me? Nothing. I sure as hell know what I gotta try harder. You got that? Don't talk smack just because you got a couple years on me. Good luck? I don't need it. Calm down. I'm calm as hell. Nuts for you, to you for butting in like you know anything. Forget about me already. Like you'd know jack about how I feel. Leave me a little hell. Uh oh. D, wait, I. He stabbed me. I think I picked a bad ending. You'd never understand how I feel. Butthole? Wow. You're just pretending to be my friend. Don't follow me anymore. Leave me alone. Nobody should care about me. Oh, wow. What? I'm bleeding to death. You're... Stay away. Don't... Never ever get a bad end too. Wow. Dang. Okay. Nope. We're going back. Okay. We're going to go through all this. We know where to go. Skipping all this. We'll see you all back in that room. We'll make the other choice just like we did with the last ending. That's life, isn't it? That's life, isn't it? I mean, you weren't cut out for it. What? Just look at you. Just looking at you kind of irritates me. Maybe it reminds me too much of myself. You need to wake up. Aren't there enough hopeless idealists in the world as it is? You shut the hell up. Yeah, I'm stupid, but I'll keep studying. Everyone's lacking in something or another. In your case, it was intelligence. You goddamn... You want a piece of me? In my case, it was my eyes. Huh? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a test pilot and studied hard and made it to flight school. But I was colorblind. Strange, isn't it? Just a few colors you can't see, and suddenly you have no right to fly. It seems obvious to me now, but back then I just couldn't accept it, so I... I faked my vision results to get into the school. I spent three years playing innocent. Even man should be an honor student. But I was found out on the day of the pilot exam, no less. That day, I was reduced from an honor student to a filthy traitor. I dropped out, and now I'm just some nobody clerk. Sucks. It happens. I don't mind if you still want to be a lawyer, but I just want to say something. Don't trap yourself by narrowing the road. Ain't it rough? Wasn't it your childhood dream? It certainly was hard. It still is. But looking at you, I realized... It's not much, but I make my own money. I got a girlfriend. I drink with my buddy on weekends, and I enjoy my life for what it is. I didn't want to recognize I'd been set back, but I can't deny where I am now, nor all the work I put in back then. Truth, are you happy with what you have now? Yes, though I didn't quite notice it. My life is how I choose it to be, so I shouldn't regret it. Interesting. Oh, my back is just not, I'm sorry. How about you? I, I won't give up, because because it's always been my dream to be a lawyer. I see. 
So I'll, just one more time, I'll try the bar exam. But if I fail, that's it. I made up my mind. I'll give up for good then, but I won't. It won't mean those three years were a waste. Right, David? Yeah, of course. Is there any point to staying here? Let's go. I'll take you home if you want. Yeah, thanks. David, what's up? What? Hey, David? Yeah. Deke, get out of the school. I'll keep him away. Got it? What the hell? No, let's go together. This guy's bad news. He's chased me. Who knows how many miles. It's me this monster is after. I'll take care of it. Uh, Alright. You just won't die, will you? I'll finish you off this time. I filled it up my save, so we'll have to start saving over the top. 236, huh? Oh, he's fast! Wait for him to do the burst. Ah, he got me. He's gonna get me. I'm terrible at this. I'm terrible! Let's try again. Sorry, I am terrible. So yeah, you paralyze every time. Terrible at this! You paralyze every time he bites you, so you kind of stall and then you gotta run and get your bearings. Okay, I'm gonna beat him. We're gonna beat him. No, I spent a lot of time in this episode running around mindlessly. Really? He did the charge. This is tough. This guy's a butthole. I hate him. Let's do this. Let's beat him. We can beat him. Ten hours later. I wonder if there's an achievement for doing this without using the energy drink. This is boring, isn't it? Ah! What happened? What happened? Did I win? Did I win? Is it over? Did I win? Win, win, over, over, win. You're so damn so. Are you sure you're all right? Damn it, hang on, David, I'll come save you. Startled me, dude. You okay? Did you finish that thing off? Yeah, somehow, but I don't think it's done for yet. I feel like it'll come back again. What what do you mean? Didn't I tell you? It followed me all the way from a distant hotel. I don't think this is over yet. Uh I don't get it, dude. But are you going somewhere now? I'd like to, but I don't have a destination. The guy I'm looking for wasn't here, so I don't know where he could be. Huh. Hey, hold on. I actually found this earlier. Any help? Got a paper with an address. Where did you find this? I found it in the basement. The paper looks pretty new, so thought you just dropped it. Hmm. Place of regret. Do you know where this is? No clue. But I think it's pretty far from here. It'd take about a day to drive. I think I'll check this out. So long. Oh, hold on. You said you're looking for who exactly? Any dangerous driving around this late? Why you want to meet him? To be honest, I'm not sure myself, though I have sort of an excuse. Huh? <coughs> Let me clear my throat, because I'm... Oh, a lot of reading. <clears throat> my point is, it doesn't matter why I want to meet him. It's just, right now, it feels like I have to. I have to go. Well, all right. Take care of yourself. Is your house far? I'll take you there. Don't worry about it. I can handle myself fine. Okay, be careful then. Wait, wait. If we meet again, you want to have a drink or something? Of course. I look forward to it. Huh. Kid kind of likes me now. Julie Stone Law School D. End. We're moving on to a new part in this story, and I think we'll save that for next time because I've been recording for just about one hour. So let's go ahead and come up top here. 239. Let's see where we're going, okay? Let's see where we're going. Hmm. Was that my phone? I was sound asleep. It was Shirley. She called me again. 
What could she want this late? Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. Ooh, this looks creepy. A hospital, huh? Must be abandoned or else it got terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? Should I go in? Quit here. At a hospital. Act two. Scene two. Whatever you want to call it. Done. Both endings. One by... I, I wanted to beat it. I figured there's an achievement for both, so... I'm glad I accidentally said the wrong thing. The Crooked Man, everybody. Hope you're enjoying. I kind of am. It's a good mystery. It's a good change of pace during the week, so... If you want more, let me know. I'm going to keep doing it once in a while, so it'll get done eventually. But until then, we'll just keep the mystery growing. So, thank you, everybody. Take care. Till next time. Peace.